No, it's pretty midi. Oh, I like the music though. Oh, uh, here we go. First Cormon in the new area. What we got? What we got? Hello, mother <sighs> Slytherin. What is up, guys? It's Quadash here. We are back with another episode. Cormon. Last episode, we finally beat the second Titan illusion. And man, that was a struggle in itself. Oh, that's it. That's game. No, I did not mean to do that. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. It is what it is. With that being said, we are going to go to the Padre Hyperloop. Apparently someone is waiting for me there. So let's get into this. I have actually never explored this area. That's why I could not find where it is, but this is the Hyperloop. Okay. So it's just, has this always been open or is it just now that it's open? I might be going crazy, but here we are. I thought the Hyperloop was the uh, teleporter. Percy, just putting the finishing touches on the reparation. What you doing there? And there we go, back in working order. <laughs> what can't the burn module do? I don't know, perfect timing. By the way, I was looking for you around town. I got some news for you, my invention. The culmination of my entire life is finally, finally ready, Quad Ostrich. Yes, that's right. In mere weeks, the burn module will be rolling out for all current Lux Solus employees. That's amazing. Congratulations. So is this why you were looking for me? Tell me the good news. Well, um, partly, actually, um, I'm here to partially give you my very own burn module. Ooh, okay. You were so nice to me, Quash. You're one of the few to take a real interest in my project. Go on. It's totally safe. Just plug it in. Yes, the burn module. It burns, burns, burns. The possibilities with this module are endless. It can burn grass, hedges, or light up torches. You name it, you can burn it. I'm sure you put it to get used when climbing the Pyramid of S Sart. Pyramid of Sart? Did it Rigel tell you? This is where uh, we locate the next Titan. Anyways, I should get back now. Relator will set up one of his nasty pranks at my desk. Burn bright. I like that instead of shine bright. That's, that's clever. That's clever. Hello, Pergy. What does this do? Wait, 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 what did I do? What did I do? Where am I going? I, I don't need to go anywhere. No, 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 no. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I don't know where that took me, but I'm not ready just yet. Because now that I have the burn module, there is something I want to do. <laughs> Dream spinners. I will gladly take that. Some gold, nice. All right, I think that's everything. I may have missed a chest here and there, but I'm ready to go to the Pyramid of Sart. Don't know where that's gonna lead me to, but I'm assuming sand, dust, hormone. So I think what is that, water's really good against? But then again, this was a swamp and it was ghosts, so maybe the pyramid is like icy? I don't know. No, it's pyramidy. Oh, I like the music though. Oh, uh, here we go. First Cormon in the new area. What we got? What we got? Hello, mother Ah, <sighs> Slytherin. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. Okay, I'll take a medium cake. That's not bad at all. You seem like you need something. Assistance over there. I need somebody. Um, look at the little cactus. Oh, okay, don't. Don't touch the cactuses. Cacti. Second chance. What we got? 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 Centilla? What is this? That looks cool. Dry wind. Okay, I guess you override my my rain. I didn't like that. I guess cloud burst is the best thing to do. Uh, I hope it doesn't kill you. But I do want to catch you. H. I like that. I do like that. As I throw a ground spinner at you, since you are sand. Look at that. But yeah. All right. It is standard, but you know, not too bad. Has really high defense. I actually might. That could take the place of uh, Ar Armadon, but I do have a uh, Mobash, Mobash. So I don't know if I want double sand on my team, but it is not the, it's not the first evolution. Okay. Desert wind, mud ball, energy drain. That's pretty good. That's some good, good stuff. All right, let's go verse this guy over here. Hello, Tuka. Oh jeez, I got a poke on my knee. Uh, on my knee. <laughs> on my knee from bumping into a cactus. Hey buddy. I did the same thing. It's okay. It's okay. But it's not going to affect my ability to fight. That's good. That's good. 
Two cut, let's go. So now guild wing, that's fine. Right, that's fine. He's dead. All right, what you got next? What you got next, Tuka? A Humvee. Almost like a Humvee. But that is, I think, the evolution of Beevil. Beezle. Goodbye, Humvee. You pinned me down. It's okay, Tuka. Uh, let's see if we can go help this person over here. Oh, I see. So I can I can burn green ones as well as the brown ones. Hello, I'm here to save you. Rana, my drill shovel. It detected a huge stack of gems right over here on the left. But there's a stupid plant in the way. I tried using my push module, but the forest goes right through it. And the sneak module, oh, it doesn't make the bush smell awful. If you have any other module on you, please, I need some help. I got you, homie. I just want some of those gems as well, please. Did you, did you do that for me? You're welcome. All right, let's see what you got. What you got? I made gems. What was that? Yes, I found them. I appreciate it, stranger. I'm gonna be rich. Here's a teeny, teeny, teensy, tiny bit of my profit for your trouble. I don't know why I had such a hard time saying that. 600 gold, I'll take it. A uh, ground spinner though, I prefer that. Ooh, an XP chip. That would actually be really useful when I try to find out my core mod. Oh, there's stairs over here. I didn't even see them. You look interesting, my friend. Roscoe. Some say that the heat in this scorching desert can make you go crazy. Drink cactus juice. It'll quench ya. Nothing's quenchier. It's the quenchiest. In my case, I already went crazy over muffles. All right, Roscoe, is that time you got a muffle? Right, that is. You have a digma? No. Oh, this one's potent. Look at you. Roscoe's so fancy. So I got one shot though. This better be perfect. This better be a perfect, oh. It's just another. Another potent level 30 though. That's not bad. Surprised it's not a, a dig mob by now. So we got one shot though. No matter if I keep losing, I vow I never let my muffles evolve. Well, I don't know why not. Dig mob is pretty cool. I like dig mob. Skill flash, quicksand. All right, your chest all by yourself. Speed cake. Not the best, but I'll take it. All right, homie, you look like uh, you need some help. Patricia, here. I had to take a breather after my trek through the scorching sands. Now I'm all cool down again. Let's get my core monitor well. All right, Patricia, let's go. What you got? A blizzard buzz? What is that? A blizzbird. That's interesting. I actually like that. So it's ice, so it's weak against fire. So I should definitely send out a fire. I mean, like, the way that the color scheme is, like, it's definitely ice because of the nose, like, the mohawk. But I feel like if it was, like, dual typing, it'd be ice and sand. Which I think would be really cool typing. I don't know how effective it would be, though. Yeah, make me use 6 SP for your 1 HP, bro. All right, what you gonna send out? What you got, Patricia? What you got? Cairo, which is another... Oh, that nice. Yes. If it wasn't fully rested, I may have one shot it. Maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. All right, what you got next? What you got next? Aurora. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything to me. But that will. My Korma, I must still be dizzy from the sun. All right, what we got here? Oh my gosh, there's another one of those. Oh, that's a dumb pod. That must be uh, the fully evolved version. I don't think I have one. So I feel like this is gonna be like a cave where there's gonna be Korma everywhere. Warning, scorching sands are ahead. Ooh, do you evolve build? Double warning, go back or put on your sunscreen. I will do neither. No, no, I don't think I will. Oh gosh, what is this? Oh no, don't tell me I have to like, uh, oh my goodness. What are you doing out there? Quickly over here under the shadow of this tent. Run. Yeah. They weren't kidding. It's hot as heck here. That scorching sands for you. The heat is known to linger in this valley. They talk all the time about how the sand temperatures are supposed to have reached records, record highs this year. If you're not careful, the heat will travel right through the soles of your shoes. That's a nightmare. Just be careful. With enough force that you can reach Darukik? Darukik? Easily enough. Just stop at every tent you see. Stay beneath the shadow to keep your feet cold. Do this on your footwear and your footwell will thank you kindly. Thank you, Haz I Hamza. Hamza. Mentioning footwear, my soul should be hardened enough by now. Best of luck on your commute. All right, I change outfits, so hopefully this leaf will help me keep cold. <laughs> you, sir, are an idiot. Well, this, okay, so the, the sand, the, the grass is good. Yo, Sir Spike, that's a, that's a cool evolution, not gonna lie. I mean, I don't want it, cause it, you know, it is what it is, but right. It seems like there's a bridge up there, but it's like destroyed. Uh, my feet, my feet, my feet, my feet, my feet, my feet, my feet. Woo! 
Okay, uh, do I want to go up or left? Let's go left. Skuldra, what are you? <laughs> okay, I do want to keep that. I want to get this. Nice, 16. It is standard. It is what it is, nothing crazy. What's down here? The hardened dirt floor is a cool chance for a pace for my feet. That's even safe enough for a Kormon to stand on. All right, Vartan, let's go. Sent out a movie, that's fine. Luckily, I know that your movie is Saiyan, so I can easily get it with the clobbers. Boom. One shot. Mulbash is level 33, let's go. Speaking of Mulbash, he sends out a Mulbash. Oh, just another Mulbash, okay. It might be safe enough for Cormon to fight, but not safe for my ego. <laughs> Ooh, give me 2k. Let's go. Uh, let's cool our feet down here. Make it, we can make it, we can make it, we can make it. Ooh, buddy. That is close. That is too close. Right, let's go, person. Who are you? Zoya. This is my chance. My feet are cold while yours are hot. All right, Zoya. I warn ya. Dre, I still lost, but how? You must be one of those weirdos with ice cold feet all the time. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I uh, got some battle people over there and I really don't want to verse them. There's a cave entrance over there. Halt! The scorching sand is my special digging place. I will stop anyone making an attempt to dig up these gems before I do. All right, Jorge. Well, you better have something that can stop me. What is that? Fry reptile? What is it? Is it sand? That's pretty cool, is it? You're allowed to dig here as well, just for this one. Thank you, Jorge. But what about this dude? It seems impossible to reach the other side of that bridge without burning my socks off. There must be something I can do to get across. So it seems like I have to go through that cave entrance, which is fine, I guess. We're not joking, extremely... Oh, there's more? Phoenix stone, uh, that is very nice since I used all my phoenix stones on the last titan. Okay, the sands here are, are nice. Ooh, what is this fancy tent? Oh wait, what's this? Oh, phoenix shine. Okay, just lying on the ground, I'll take it. Ooh, a large HP cake, I will gladly take that. Static spinner, nice. Ground spinner, extra nice. I will gladly take two spinners. Okay, that leads off somewhere. I'm curious, who are you? Guard, this is one of remote gem warehouse. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed inside. All right, guard, let's see what you got. Scarbone. Okay, so I have seen the Scarborn. Scarborn. Scarbone. Oh, so that's a polluter plus. Nice, okay. Easy. Yeah, see, that's the evolve. That's the one that we caught. What is that? Lightning or ice? It's water? Does not look like water, but we have to use Tor Volt. I haven't used Tor Volt in a hot minute because it didn't do all that much in the second thing. It looks so nice. It looks so, so cool. I love Tor Volt. Speaking, we just got a multi volt, so might as well see what that looks like. That's one, two, let's go. Let's go. Keep moving. If you're not Alan, Alon, or his esteemed guests, I will not allow you inside this gem warehouse. All right. My bad, dude, my bad. Go inside, go inside. Sneak past. Right, we got two more people we need to fight. Let's do this real quick. Dude, really? I just got here. This is my digging spot. I ain't shady. This spot is mine. Oh my, I'm never giving it up. Not even if you had to drag me away from it. Ugh, bro. You made my Coromon so weak. All right, dude. Hey, are you okay? Man, man, oh man, this is just way too close for comfort. I sure can go back for a spa treatment right about now. Excuse me, please. Wait, what do you know? What's behind there? Pain and suffering. Aye, pain and suffering. Just imagine, here I was exploring the area for a new Coromon rumored to be here. The next day I know I'm on my back, flat on the ground like a pancake. When I, that's when I open my eyes. The horror just about put the shiver in my bones. When I opened my eyes, there was a massive Skuldra just a few inches away from my face, growling, drooling, snarling, like some sort of rabid beast. So I ran, ran for my dear life. Doesn't sound too good now. A Coromon attacking human on sites? I don't understand. Surely it must have gone mad. But I locked off the area so the d denizens passing through should be safe now. Anyways, spa in town, it awaits me. I'm out of this popsicle stand. <laughs> Confusion. Oh, we gotta check that out. We gotta check that out. But I definitely need a heal first. Okay, and, and not run into cacti. And not get caught by Coromon. Please allow me to heal over here. Okay, Don Valley. This looks intense. Hello. Explain to me again. 
You're not making any sense, says Archie. Ma'am, this is the last time I am going to kill you. Day and Co is scheduled to occupy the Don Valley for an indefinite amount of time. Until then, none may enter. This is a load of rubbish. What is going on back there? All right, you leave me no choice. I'll go get my answers from Alone himself. Oh, that can be arranged. What's all this fuss about? Alone? How could you just up and close this place? This is the most lucrative site in all of Jeroptic for you and me. My reasons for occupying the Dawn Valley shall not concern you, miss. Ooh, miss. Alone, we've known each other for years. What's going on for you? What's going on with you? I trust my guards will lep, lep, leper, wait, maybe it's backwards? Re repel any intruders? Repel any intruders. <clears throat> I trust my guards will, re will repair, uh, uh, repel any intruders. <laughs> He's going crazy. Um, you heard alone. Nobody may enter. What's going on? Is this Don Valley really closed for everyone? I need to go there too. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me. Oh, what are you doing, miss? Every minute we can't dig, there's so much profit. Just gone. Come put up in smoke. I gotta review my Digco contract. Perhaps there's a clause for compensation when the workplace isn't reachable. The Don Valley is closed due to maintenance. None may enter. Silver spinner, nice. Doom scent. Uh, I think she went this way? I'm watching you like a megalobite watches its prey. That's not creepy at all. Move along, citizen. Nothing to see here. All right, halt. By order of the esteemed Elon, all travelers entering Jaruit must pay a one-time entry fee of a hundred. No way, bro. What is this? I guess I have to pay it. All right, let's pay it, I guess. Thank you for your compliance. <clears throat> Move along, please. Did you just push me? Rude? Psst. Hey. Hey, you. The gauntlet. Hey, next to the bench. Walk over here real casual-like. Try not to act suspicious. Very smooth. I took note of you in the desert. You want to reach Don Valley? I want to reach the Don Valley. Perhaps I have a lead to achieve our shared goal, but it's a risky proposition. Can't explain everything yet. This is not a secure spot. The walls of Jaruitdik seem to have ears in this part of town. Come meet me at my team's house. It's directly to the west of us against the city wall. It's time, time is money, so please hurry. All right. Well, that is where I'm gonna end it for today. We have finally reached the next location. I'm excited to see what Archie is going to tell us how we're going to get into Dawn Valley. Plus, I also want to verse that Kuama that seems to be very mean. I don't know how else to describe it. Hopefully we can catch it. Maybe it's potent. Maybe it's perfect. We'll see in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all the fun stuff YouTubers tell you about. Until next time, I shall see you later.